Hello and welcome to this exciting edition, quick tips edition even, of Take the Fear Out of the Gear with me, Mr. Chumby Warner. And me, Mr. Bangers, and this is Quick Tips Free. It's about the GoTech floppy disk drive emulators. Ah, the OLED screen. The OLED screen, exactly. OLED screen. But people have been watching the videos and they've you know about different samplers and stuff we've been putting them in and they're going how do you do it so this video shows you how to put the OLED screen in without further ado today we're going to mod a GoTech emulator already taken the top off there's only three screws and what we're going to do is take this uh, little LED three digit display out and put one of these in which is like a OLED screen with that it actually displays what's on the virtual discs so all we need to do is unclip from here, there's two things here, so I'll just unclip those and then the screen here, just give it a little push from the front that pops out like that, that to one side and then all we need to do then for the little OLED screen here we just need to make that window slightly bigger and I think I measured it before, you can keep the height the same but the width needs to be about 25 millimeters. so that is what we'll do next Right, so here's the front of the emulator. I've marked, measured it and marked 25mm as it comes to about there. And then what I normally do is just get a hacksaw blade and just carefully insert it there and just carefully cut down until we're in line with the line I've drawn there. And I normally do like a few cuts across, get a pair of side cutters like these ones and then just clip out the excess bits of plastic and I get a little file and I just smooth the sides and smooth across here. That should be it for the window. Then we'll show you the next stage. So we've uh, enlarged that hole, about 25mm is right for the width, keep the height the same. Screen is in, I will just turn it round and then you can see how we've done it. Right, there's the back of the screen. I know it looks a bit crude but I've hot glued it in and I've just kept the glue away from any of the little components or where you plug the connector in that eventually connects to here. The pins on the screen here, the bottom pin is ground, the next pin up is voltage and there's a pin called SCL and SDA and then what I'll show you how to do is using the same wire that came off the LED display we can use those wires and we can connect them from here to here. The connector on the left here I've used the white wire as the ground and then underneath it is the red wire which is the voltage and then looking at the display the white wire goes to the bottom which is the ground and the next one up is the voltage so we've got white and red on this side there's two connectors here top one is called SDA and the bottom one is called SCL so I've used the red one for SDA and the white one SCL and then on the display itself so we're going for the red one here which is SDA which is on the top and then the white one comes up is the SCL and that's how you connect your wires and then what I normally do once these are connected correctly I put a bit of hot glue across there just so they don't move these don't move and the display doesn't move and then we can put the top back on Right, the screws are back in. I'm just, uh, best way to test these, I'm just using my little programmer which I use uh, to flash the drives with. And I've just connected the uh, ground and the 5 volts and if you put it to like a USB battery, so if I just press that, you can see here the screen's working brilliantly. Uh, one thing to take into account, before you install your OLED screen, make sure you have flashed the firmware in your drive, either with the HXC software or you can use OmniFlop, which is another software, uh, because if you don't do that, that, you won't get anything displayed on your screen so just make sure you flash your firmware first before you install your OLED screen so that is ready to go into a, a sampler or a keyboard or whatever you want and obviously then you can put your USB stick in with your floppy disks on and away you go and that's all you need to do to put a OLED screen in a GoTech floppy drive emulator hope that was useful that certainly explained a lot to me mate and I ain't never gonna do one no. <laughs> I've got no need for that, but it was useful. But it, if you fancy having a go, it's worth doing because it does show you all the file names uh, when your samples on, on your emulator. So it's a lot easier than just having one, two, three, four. Absolutely. Uh, and having a piece of paper writing them down. So it's, if you fancy having a go, it's quite easy to do. Just suck it and see, Tubes. Uh, if you're going to do it, you've got a little video there. You can stop, pause, rewind, and go back to for reference. And um, that's what we want to do. Quick tip video free. Hopefully you learn something for thee. So from Take the Fear Out of the Gear, it's goodbye from me, Jason Bangers. And it's goodbye from me, Mr. Chumley Warner. Ding, slap like, subscribe. Please, please subscribe. Thank you. We'll see you again.
Hello and welcome to another Take the Fear Out the Gear Quick Tips video number three, I think. Three. So it's hello from me, Mr. Chumley Warner. And hello from me, Jason Bangers. Titles. <laughs> Let's do that again because that's pretty poo. Uh, five, four, three, two. Hello and welcome to another Quick Tips Take the Fear Out the Gear video with me, Mr. Chumley Warner. And me, Jason Bangers. This is Quick Tips Free. Okay, five, four, three, two. And on Quick Tips Free, we have Mr. Chumley Warner to explain what the hell is going on here. Well, we've had a lot of people asking because we've done a few videos where we've put the GoTech floppy disk emulators into various instruments and samplers and people are saying, how do you do the OLED screen? Because it just comes with an L LED and how do you do the L... Rewind. <laughs> right, I think you're back at your starting point now, so you can go again. How do you do the OLED screen? So this video shows you how to do it. V -v video. This. Hang on. <laughs> Start again. This video shows you how to do it. Go open the OLED screen bit. Five, four, three, two. So, go take emulator. Yeah. From the top, dude, right? Yeah, okay. Over to you, five, four, three, two. So, lots of people have been asking about... From the top. Hello, oh, and, right right the top. hello and welcome, yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. Five, four, three, two. 